so these are the surgeries and uh, reconstruction options that we have now which are making sure that the patient is having near normal function and look at the end of the surgery but now what happens it is not enough to just do surgery we should know how to deal with the post operative aspect and also with the staging aspect as to who requires adjuvant therapy who does not require adjuvant therapy and so on so for that we need classification so the uh, ajcc has given us uh, the classification that is american joint uh, committee on cancer so that is a standardized classification that we use for the oral cancer and any other cancer in the body so with this we see that the t1 the t staging is based on the size and also recently added the depth of invasion that is from the mucosal surface how deep the tumor is penetrating so based on that we classify it as a t1 to t4a to which it is uh, t4b also we operate t4c is like it is a metastatic setting and we don't generally operate okay unless it's a palliative resection so for t1 and then after that we do the end staging so end staging is different for clinical and pathological so since the final stage is decided only after we do the surgery and uh, do the histopathological examination so the p staging is more important and in which the extra nodal extension has been added as a additional factor which is uh, going to dedicate whether it is going to be requiring any chemotherapy or not so the ajcc has classified as the staging so stage 1 and stage 2 that is this area stage 1 and stage 2 they don't require any adjuvant therapy after the surgery stage 3 to 4a we do surgery followed by radiation alone and 4b will require an adjuvant therapy in the form of chemotherapy along with the radiation so the duration and amount of cycles and amount of fractions of radiation will all depend upon the uh, patient characteristics tolerance and also the disease status so the nccn guidelines that are the thing uh, is the guidelines that we generally follow as you can see in t1 t2 that is this is stage 1 and stage 2 we can treat with either a uh, resection of the primary and the neck dissection adjuvant therapy is generally not done okay unless the uh, unless in some t, uh, stage 2 lesions where there are some adverse features like uh, positive margin or other risk factors like pni or lvi stage 3 and 4a we generally go for multimodality treatment after the surgery as i mentioned that is doing the primary with the neck dissection with reconstruction if there are no adverse features we go for radiation alone if there are adverse features like extra capsular spread in the neck or positive margins that means we are leaving some microscopic tissue behind then we go for chemotherapy along with the radiation okay so to summarize i won't take much or more of your time to summarize so in all the patients in oral cancer if operable surgical resection is the primary modality of curative treatment if surgery is not present in any form then you're losing the patient more than 50% of the time adjuvant radiation is advised to prevent the recurrence in advanced cases that is stage 3 and stage 4 chemotherapy alone is not curative and it is used only in very advanced stages as neo adjuvant chemotherapy or as a post operative chemo radiotherapy in a adjuvant setting or as a metastatic setting that is the only option to give just to prolong life so cure rates rapidly reduce when surgery is not the treatment option 
so these are the stages where we can operate this is a t4a lesion the first one because it is involving the mandible this is a palate lesion which is also t4a this is a t3 tongue okay because even though the ulcer looks small it is indurated up till here so it is a t3 tongue still we can operate and save his life but these are the ones where we don't have much hope for survival we do offer them chemotherapy just in case it reduces fast and it gives us some option of doing a curative surgery at the end of the procedure so take home message is that oral cancer patients lose everything that is they lose their lifestyle they lose their way of eating they are losing their jobs they are losing everything but hope alone keeps them going we need to understand the patient and give them support in as much as possible and they are the survivors of a battle we cannot imagine to fight so do support them as much as possible this is our group uh, the kaizen oncology network where uh, we provide services to care hospital we are a team of medical oncology surgical oncologists and radiation oncologists in our team